I value myself more than how good food tastes. Hi, my name is Stevie and I share videos about weight loss, but I'm not your ordinary weight loss girly. I'm a killer whale. I share all the sides of weight loss while living a balanced life. You won't see fat diets, endless cardio, or toxic positivity here. It's a whole new world. What you will see is a 30-something full-time employed career woman just trying to be healthy inside and out. To get you caught up, the last few years I've been on the struggle bus. In 2018, I lost over 70 pounds through keto, but gained a pretty bad eating disorder. Between 2020 and 2023, I struggled with yo-yo dieting and binge eating. Honestly, I hated myself. I spent all of 2022 and some of 2023 unlearning and relearning how to let myself enjoy food and be happy. Since June of 2023, I've documented getting over my gym anxieties, eating healthier, and being kind to myself. I went from being too anxious to set foot inside of a gym to deadlifting over 150 pounds. If any of this interests you, I invite you to subscribe and keep watching. Oh, and if you could hit that thumbs up button real quick, that'd be fantastic. Thanks. It's Wednesday. I wasn't going to vlog right now just because I'm in the car. I don't have my camera. And whenever I just use my phone, the quality is just when I'm editing it, I'm just like, oh my goodness. But welcome to another video. So I went to Panera <laughs> to get my coffee and I even brought my wallet in thinking like, oh, they might have $2 pastries. That would be delicious. And they did. And I just thought to myself, I was like, mm, not today. And that's like, what? It's almost like I'm value, valuing myself more. Like I value myself more than how good food tastes. Because like, it's not a, I can't eat that, that's bad food. That's not it. It's a, like a, hmm, not today. I've been eating a little more decadently lately. And I could have this cookie today, but hmm, no, we need to cool it a little bit. Cause we got goals. I can have a cookie another day. We've just been eating too much stuff lately. And honestly, it hasn't been that bad, but balance. I feel like my, my life for the first time is in balance. Is this what it feels like? Like the people that don't have weight issues or, or mental health illness issues, is their life just in this like yin and yang balance thing that, that we're missing? Made me think. Also, I got a swim cap because I'm having a lot of breakage in my hair since I've been swimming and I'm not here for it. And I'm getting gray hair. Don't tell anybody. Not like I just told the internet or anything. <laughs> Tonight for dinner, you guys are gonna like what I'm making. I thought it up in my head. Now it's been dope before, but I haven't. I haven't found it anywhere. I didn't like see it anywhere. But I'm. A, I'm gonna make it, and it's gonna be delicious. For dinner, I'm going to recreate a KFC chicken bowl, and the star of the show is this Kirkland Signature lightly breaded chicken chunks. Now they have the Just Bear ones and they just came out with these, I think. So they're like two or three dollars cheaper and the macros on them are less calories. And I think a little bit less protein or about the same protein, I don't remember. But very, very similar and for the price, like it's these bad boys. They, I feel like they're a little tougher, but when I bit into it, it's more of like a chicken chunk. Like here is a chicken breast breaded. The Just Bear ones, they're good too, but I feel like they were a tad more processed. But we're going to do, uh, what did I say? 160 grams of these bad boys, which is 32 grams of protein for just the chicken. And then we got the corn, of course, because you can't have a KFC Famous Bowl without corn. And for the mashed potatoes, we got the Great Value Deluxe Baked Complete Potato. 110 calories for a fourth of this. Very macro friendly, two grams of protein, 3.5 grams of fat, 18 carbs, and a lot of ingredients. There's blue cheese in this. Interesting. I wonder if I got a different brand. I didn't look at the back. And of course, like, real potato is the best but does this have a little bacon in it i thought it was just normal potato oh well it works but in a pinch when you don't have enough time they come in clutch we started with mashed potatoes then we're gonna do corn chicken cheese and you know what use whatever cheese you got 
I think the original famous bowl was cheddar. Uh, we got Mexican, so that's what we're gonna use. The camber died. This is the finished product. Delicious. I'm gonna put the macros up for you guys, but I'm gonna eat this and then head to the gym. Hello, it's Thursday morning. I woke up to lightning and a thunderstorm. <laughs> uh, last night's workout was not it. So I've been swimming, right? You guys know this. Um, for some reason, they had, we have a four lane lap pool. Fantastic. And the lanes are big enough where two people can, can swim in one lane. Uh, they had three out of the four lanes swimming lessons with toddlers. I, I don't understand. I don't understand why that was a thing. Because, like, they know how many people use that lap pool that time of day. And the swimming lessons only took up maybe uh, five feet of the lane. And for some reason, they thought each swim lesson needed their own lane. So I didn't really get to swim. I got to swim for 12 minutes. I did sit in the sauna for like 35 minutes though. So that was nice. But I feel like my workout was wasted and it wasn't my fault and I'm really grumpy about it. But I gotta let that go because not every workout is gonna be it and that was not it. Uh, weighed myself today in three, no, not three, woohoo, uh, 292 on the dot. So I'm up a little bit, which I need to get back to, you know, the groove of things. I think after the shred, I took a moment and I was like, Wah. like I wasn't eating everything in sight or anything. I just didn't really track. I didn't really, I was just eating random stuff and it's whatever. But it's okay. I guess just water weight. We'll get back on track. It'll be fine. Uh, woke up to a thousand Instagram followers this morning. That was cool. I'm like 30 or not. Jeez, what's with the three today? A thousand and six or seven right now. So I went to bed at 9:50. I think my Instagram is is blooming. I'm not feeling work today. It's probably the weather. And the fact that I have only a week until spring break, a very much needed spring break. So I'm trying to just put my head down and push forward, even though everything in me is telling me to not. Everything is telling me to stay home. Don't go there. It will be okay though. Today is another workout day. I'm not going to try to swim today. I'm, I don't, I don't think I could, handle having to work out work out mishaps in a row and I could bring like clothes to change into that's such a hassle though so I think I'm gonna try maybe pedaling on the bike a little bit and see how my knee does with that I do have a brace on now honestly what has been happening is I haven't been planning that's what has been happening. There has not been a plan with my food. When there's not a plan, I tend to eat. And I still think, like, I, I haven't gone hog wild on anything, but I'm definitely not in control. And I feel weird about it. I like being in control of that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go back to planning. And even in the last few weeks of the shred, like, I would plan, I'd put it in my fitness pal, but then I wouldn't go adjust it. So I wasn't like that in control, but I like having a plan. I'm a plan girly. I'm a type A kind of girl, unless it involves my desk. Then I'm not a type A kind of girl. I'm like a type four. What? <laughs> what? How did we get to that? Let me escalate it quickly. <laughs> How do we get to A all the way through the alphabet to four? <laughs> oh boy, let me teach children. Wow, I feel bad for these kids walking. It's like really raining. Well, we're gonna crank out this day. 
we made it through the day on our way to get coffee. Today was a decent day. I didn't feel super woohoo about today, but it was a good day. At the end of the day, I'm sitting at my desk grading papers. My knee hurts, you know. I see one of my band kids, his all his little eyes, so you just see him poking up at the door like this. Or I should say like this. You know, I just see his eyes and I'm like, ugh. I bet he wants to come in here and play drums and that's the last thing I want to hear are drums. So I go over there and I open the door and he's like, hi, Miss Griffin. I was like, hello. <laughs> and he, he was like, I, I just wanted to come say hi and that I hope you have a good rest of your day and good night and I'll see you. Well, he didn't say he'll see me in the morning. This kid has a truancy issue. Um, and I was like, oh, that made my day. And he was like, um, I was like, I'm going to see you in the morning, right? And he's like, yes. I was like, yeah. <laughs> it was so cute. And then as I was leaving, I just hear this quiet little, little crap. What? And then as I was leaving, I heard this quiet little whimper. I turn around and it's one of my little first graders and she's crying all alone. And it's after school. And I was like baby girl was wrong and she came over and she was like I spilled milk on my star student banner and I'm afraid I won't be star student tomorrow because I don't have my star student paper and I worked really hard for it and I was like oh baby it's like we can get you another one tomorrow I'm sure that your teacher can get you another one no problem and I always give stickers like water bottle bottle stickers to the kids um when they learn new songs. I'm like, would you like a sticker? And she was like, yeah. So I opened my room back up and we went to my desk. We got a sticker. She got a Pusheen, the little kitty. And then I was like, would you like another sticker? And she was like, <laughs> so I let her have two stickers, which is like, she's sticker rich now. And then she happily skipped back to the cafeteria where she was supposed to be. So that was really cute. Because the pool has not been super reliable, I thought I would try a stationary bike. Well, I got about 20 minutes in and my knee was throbbing. So I think that's kind of a no-go right now. I go to the doctor on Monday, so we will see what the doctor says. I've been feeling a little lost in the gym lately just because half of my workout routine I can't do right now. And so I'm left wondering what to do to fill in those holes. Shoulder presses right now are probably my favorite exercises in the world. I just feel really great with them. Uh, I think we're gonna up the weights probably next week to 35 pounds and that's really cool. I'm such a nerd but it's, uh, it's really cool. I love watching myself lift those bad boys. I've been focusing a lot on arms just because I don't know what else to do right now. I'm going to research some different exercises to do and see how it feels with my knee. But after I watched this footage, I was kind of blown away just by my physique because I got them bat wings, man. <laughs> that means lost fat. Like that's, that's just fantastic. I'm just chugging along and I feel like I am treading water right now. I'm not really moving forward or backward. I'm just in a standby formation right now. I'm just hanging out, I guess. And that feeling is starting to kind of get to me mentally. I feel like I, I'm definitely done, done losing weight. And part of me wants to go back into a deficit and continue to lose weight. But then the other part of me wants to focus on maintaining and learn how to maintain my weight, not go crazy with food. So I don't, I don't exactly know what to do. I feel like I'm a little lost and at a crossroads and dang those arms. I'm so proud of those arms. <laughs> okay, I'm done like making googly eyes at myself. This workout was pretty good and I felt pretty good after, after the workout. It's Friday. We are on our way to finish out the week at work. I've not vlogged much and I apologize. Part of the reason is because Wednesday's vlog was um, like part of this week. So I just don't have as much footage to pull from. 
I need to get a backlog of videos, like two posts a week. I really want to do that, but when I don't have a backlog of videos, it's very hard. Especially because, like, the videos that I want on Wednesdays aren't necessarily vlogs, but they take planning and they take effort. Like, okay, vlogging takes effort, but it's like, I'm going to the store, let me grab my camera. It's not like a, I'm going to make three uh, high-protein breakfasts, let me film this video. You know what I mean? So that's where we're at with that, but that's okay. Did not weigh myself this morning. And that's okay. Last night, I meant to vlog dinner, and I just didn't. I don't know why. Uh, I had Panera, the same as last week, so I'll put like a picture of that here for the people that did not watch last week's vlog, or you could go back and watch it. That'd be great. Um, because I came to the realization that I do not have time to clean and cook dinner and go to the gym because me cooking dinner and going to the gym is I literally come home, put my stuff down, change, feed the dogs, cook dinner, and then we go to the gym and then we're not back until around eight because we spend about an hour and a half at the gym now. So I just do not have time. And it, it, it was starting to make me feel bad. So I consciously was like, I'm not making dinner tonight. I'm gonna clean. Now I could plan more and do a crock pot meal and then like I wouldn't really have to make dinner and I could clean, which I'm gonna try to do this week. I'm gonna plan a crock pot meal, maybe two days this week or something that is just throw in the air fryer because cleaning and cooking is just, it's so much. Does anybody feel the same way? Do you, are, do you guys have the same feels as me? Like going to your job every single day feeding yourself three times a day, not once, but three times a day, and cleaning your house, and making time to go to the gym. There's, there's really no time left in the day to do anything unless you go to the gym at the crack ass of dawn, which I don't really want to do that, and Caitlin doesn't want to do that, so that's a no-go. We tried it. There were aspects of it that I liked. I mean, I got it out of the way, but it made my workday feel a hundred times longer, and I don't really know why, <laughs> but also doing it after work is like a decompress as well, because like we go to the hot tub, sit in the hot tub for a while, sit in the sauna, like it, it's really like a self-care thing thing and I was thinking like there's this guy that I see there every day and he must be there he gets there before me and he leaves like right before me or after me and he was working out downstairs then he was downstairs swimming and then he was in the sauna and I was like this is the life man how relaxing is that I know like the gym isn't relaxing but it is relaxing it's like such like self-care and I feel so grateful that I'm able to do that, to go to that gym and sit in the hot tub and the workout and then do the sauna or swim because many, 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 many people do not have that luxury. And I'm very, very grateful for it. And this guy is an older guy and it just made me think like, this is self-care. This is how, this is how you should spend your free time. Not sitting on the couch watching TV, doing nothing. Like just being a couch potato. And let me be clear, there are times where being a couch potato is what you need and it serves its purpose. But so many of us, including myself, just fall into couch potato life, couch potato all day every day. At least that's how I used to be. And now I don't watch, I don't watch TV that much anymore because I just don't, I don't prioritize it. Or, okay, I never prioritized watching TV, but I didn't prioritize anything else either. So now I have other things I'm prioritizing and it takes up that TV time, which I'm completely okay with. I think it's super interesting how my mentality has shifted and how my idea of self-care and relaxation has changed because going to the gym and sweating is my idea of a relaxing self-care time. 
and like it's fun and sometimes I don't want to actually go like get up and go but it's not because I don't want to like go work out it's just I don't I don't want to get dressed and leave the house but once I'm there it's great and I could stay there for hours so long <laughs> and not even realize it time stops when I'm there and that's a beautiful thing but I just wanted to say that little thing to you guys I hope that you guys are having a good day good morning as well I know it's past when you've watched this but I think we're gonna go grocery shopping after work today to get it out of the way which means I need a meal plan during my lunch because I have no clue what I'm making. And part of me is just, I don't even know, I don't even know what to make at this point. Do you ever get that way? Like, I know there's rotations and stuff, but I, I get sick of eating the same thing all the time. Like there was a long time where we had tacos every single week <laughs> for like years. Should I just be like, oh, we're gonna have tacos one night. We're gonna have stir fry one night and like copy and paste it every week. Hmm, it would make life less stressful. But would I enjoy the food as much? I don't know. Out of school, I went to Target to get a new shaker bottle because the one I got had got really moldy and it, I just, mm. we tried to wash it, but I did a boo-boo. I picked up more legendary chips because Butch ate them all. This time it's pizza flavored. I didn't really like the, the barbecue flavored ones. I think the first ones I had were either nacho or ranch i don't remember these are decent they're not super boldly flavored which is kind of a miss if you like pork rinds and if you like pizza goldfish you would really like these because this is pretty much like a pork rind gold pizza goldfish flavored thing they're not chicharrones but they're very much a chicharrones vibe they're softer than pork rinds but not bad I got my coffee I've been listening to a book called great the great alone it's about like a family that goes to Alaska and ho and homestead in the 70s it's really good and I can't stop listening to it and that's why I haven't been talking to you guys on the way home much because I want to listen to that book we're doing our grocery shopping again I failed I did not bring my camera I'm sorry we're getting a rug it's $50 and it's not like, it's like printed on. It should be really easy to clean up dog messes. And then, this is Hello, I can't do this, Hello Sunshine. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm failing, absolutely failing. There's like eight things I could buy in this, this aisle. Like look at this teapot, it's so cute. And then there's one up there. I mean, it's kind of the same color as ours, but this is so cute. Uh, and then they have matching little thing, things. What are they called? They're, they're casserole dishes. We need to get out of this aisle because now we picked up the blanket. They have these bubble teas. Now this is why we take short breaks from dieting because you see this kind of stuff. And you just want to like, wow, 274 calories, that's so much. I don't even know. I don't know if I could do that to myself. JK, don't listen to me. What about the the, the um, coffee one? Two, that's worse. Okay. Replacing the chocolate chips. Butch ate. Got the mini ones. The mini ones are the best because it uh, disperses the chocolate more. Good morning, friends. It's Saturday. I didn't film anything last night except Aldi because... <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> then I came home and I like fell asleep. So we're filming this morning before I have to edit. So we have enough footage for the week and I'm sorry about that. I don't know what got into me, but we have one more week until spring break and then you and I can hang out like every day, all day long. We're gonna do so much fun stuff together. What? I don't know. <laughs> so per recommendation from one of my friends that I met on the shred, and I talk to her like literally every day, Brandy. She, one, was like, go get a shaker bottle. Like, stop this. So I did. You made me spend $10. Thanks, I guess. And then she was like, be a real adult and put all your crap in, in one bottle. And I was like, ew, gross. And then I was like, okay. So here's my BCAAs with my greens and my creatine. It's Rocket Bomb Pop flavored BCAAs. 
And let me tell you something. It's so bad, it's good. It fixed, it fixed the sour earth crap. It looks worse though, like, let me just get a little more. Okay, so Brandy, thank you for telling me to be a real grown ass adult and just drink everything in one. You fixed the flavor somehow. No face. It wants to creep in though. It's still not great, but it, it's, it's definitely more serviceable. For breakfast, I went to Target yesterday and they had Kodiak cakes, birthday cake on sale. So of course I had to get it. I'm gonna make birthday cake pancakes for breakfast. I'm not gonna add anything special to them. I'm gonna do, uh, I have Fairlife milk. I'm gonna do Fairlife milk instead of water. I don't have any eggs. You can make cupcakes out of this. Isn't it funny that breakfast food is like, hey, here's here's a breakfast item. You can also make cake with it, <laughs> but you can eat it for breakfast. <laughs> so if I made cupcakes out of it, could I just eat cupcakes for breakfast? The dogs are shedding and they're just finding hair everywhere. And I've vacuumed like four times this week. I had to vacuum again. Ah, oh, get another dog, they said. It would be fun, they said. No, I mean, I love him. Don't get me wrong. You figured that like getting another dog wouldn't be like double the work. It would be like 25% of the work. Cause you know, you gotta take Butch out on the walk. So you take Simon out. Like it's not like two walks. It's just a walk with two dogs. It doesn't equal like 100% more work. Yes, it actually is more than double the work with two dogs. Part of it is because he's still a puppy. Very much a puppy, a very cute puppy. I think I wanna make my pancake mix in this. What do you think? Is it a bad idea? It might be a bad idea. Oh, I was gonna make uh, hash browns too. Cause hash browns are delicious. I love me a good hash brown. I think that's another thing. When like hash browns were a forbidden food, potatoes were a forbidden food. And I think that's why I love French fries and hash browns and stuff so much is because they're like, one, they're potatoes. Two, I'm Irish. Three, they're potatoes. So when you tell yourself you can't eat potatoes and they are literally the food of your people, it might do something a little bit with your mind, right? This says it had sprinkles in it. I'd better have cute ass sprinkly pancakes. I don't see, they're baby little sprinkles. This better taste like birthday cake. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm not gonna show you guys what I'm doing because the table is. Still not horrible, but not good. If not, is that a good situation over here? 63, do, 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 63. 63 times 2. 120, 132, 132. Is that right? Alexa, what's 63 times 2? 63 times 2 is 126. <laughs> Dirk a dirt. I knew that. Ooh, perfect. It doesn't really have any smell to it. Okay, there's a little bit of birthday cake esque smell coming through. I hope I'm not disappointed, but they were on sale. Maybe there's a reason for that. How much milk? Three fourths of a cup. My little conversion chart over here. Liquids. Three fourths of a cup is 177 milligrams or six ounces. Ooh, do I have enough space in here for all that? So I technically need 12 ounces of water or milk. First things first with these. Make sure it's on before you start shaking. Seems really liquidy already. Oh, a half a cup of mix. What? Mm. Kind of watery pancakes. Uh -oh. oh, there's still some in the bottom. I did a boo boo. Yeah, this is like this is like a shake. Crap. Okay, that's a little better. I'm a little disappointed in that flavor. Vanilla. My favorite flavors out of all the ones I got, cause I got that variety pack, cake pop, 100%, that would be on rotation, like indefinitely. Uh, vanilla is not bad, cause you always need a good vanilla. And then uh, the chocolate frosted cupcake's pretty good. I think those are like kind of the only ones I like. The Thin Mint one, no. The chocolate peanut butter one, I don't even know if I've tried that one yet. But then. Nutter butter one is really good. I'd rather just have that. Like ghost protein, you know? Okay. We're just gonna go with that. It thickened up a little bit. Do you like doing little pancakes or one big pancake? Comment down below. They are still very watery. Oh no. I think I might have ruined these pancakes. They might be more like crepes. We might have crepes. I better have a good spatula. 
Look how thin this pancake is. I think maybe we just, did we just make protein crepes? Crepes? Yes, I know they're crepes, but I like saying crepes. It's fun to say. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oop. Oop. They're sticking to the pan real good. We're about two pancakes out before. We're and I wanted to talk to you guys because I don't think I have. If you follow me on Instagram, I blew up a little bit, just just a hair, like not like a major blow up, but one of my shorts got like, this one kind of looks like uh, the Millennium Falcon, but it got like 70 something thousand views. It's still going a little bit and I have over a thousand followers on Instagram now, which is really, but I made a short last night. I was doing lateral raises and like the bat wings are very prominent. And I'm low key really proud of them. And I think because most people are like, ugh, bat wings. And here's the thing. I was like, why, why do I feel that way? Well, one means that I'm losing fat off my arms, gaining muscle. Primo. But also, I think when you have to lose as much weight as I, you have unrealistic. When you have as much weight to lose as I do, I think you have, or some people I have in the past, unrealistic picture of what your body is going to be like look like when you lose all your weight. But you're not gonna look like a snatched, like thin little like home mommy, you know? Uh, you're gonna have extra skin, you're gonna have bat wings, you're gonna have, you know, extra skin on your tummy and probably all over the place. And I have embraced that. I'm here for it. I know I'm gonna have extra skin. Like I already have a little bit of extra skin. Like my arms, like, there's a lot of extra skin on my arms that you can see. It's kind of fun to play with. It's kind of a built-in fidget spinner. I think I am in a really, really, this is probably the most mentally healthy place I think I've ever been in my adult life. We're here for it. The only thing is this, this breakfast isn't gonna be super high protein, which is meh, that's okay. Not every day has to be perfect. That's how you get burnt out and go crazy. We got one more pancake to go, but this is how they turned out. This is two servings. These flat little babies. We made protein crepes. They smell good. I'm excited to eat them. They'll definitely eat. So I'm gonna eat breakfast, finish my coffee that's kinda cold now. That's 100% your fault, no. 50% your fault, 50% my fault, cause I've made the pancake batter super watery. Still no microphone. I need water. I feel very not great. Um, I picked up a little bit, but I'm gonna put frozen fruit in my water because one, we don't have ice and cold water would be nice. Also, a little bit of natural flavoring. About to make lunch. Strawberries. I'm also gonna put some lemon in it. I have some fresh lemon. I'm gonna do a couple slices. I think that would be, that'd be very nice. So my cup it has an S on it for Stevie. So you know it's my cup. I was gonna make a chicken salad and then we've had this forever. So I'm gonna make this and this and maybe I can find some vegetables to throw in it and call it a day. This actually, if you ate the whole thing, it's 460 calories, has 15 grams of protein in it. This guy has a lot of protein in it. it has... All right, so this meal that I'm about to show you is let me get it. I, I logged everything all right this meal is 360 calories 27 grams of protein which i actually think it'd be more protein because i used fair life milk so this is probably like 32 or 33 grams of protein 4.5 grams of fat and 56 carbs uh and it's more than halfway full so I can't, this is like under 400 calories with 30 grams of protein in it. Is it the most elegant? No. Is it the lowest sodium? Definitely not. Does it eat? Yes. Is it budget friendly? Yes. This meal probably costs us three bucks. 
I'm afraid to look at the sodium. It's only 720 grams of sodium. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. Not great, but it could be a lot worse. I'm going to wrap up today's video here so I can edit it. I will see you guys on Wednesday. But until next time, friends, be kind to yourself. Bye.